So this is gonna be a different kind of video. Uh, NZR Dune and I set out on an adventure this morning to go to the Clarion Tunnel. We just found out about it last night. Um, basically, there was an abandoned railway line. I'm not sure exactly when it was disused. I think maybe like the 1980s from what I saw last night. Um, and the only thing that's remnants of it is some of the structures that were built. We're about to go to something very special. Not gonna say it just yet, but uh, why don't you take your attention to what's in front of us real quick and you'll get an idea. So as you can see, these are concrete piers which would have supported the bridge that originally spanned the river here. And going over to the other side, this is the end. And somewhere up on top of the hill there would be the Clarion Tunnel. Uh, probably a ways back, I'm not exactly sure at the moment. But yeah, this is where we're gonna start and probably go ahead and I think there's a trail just up the road there to get up that way. So we're currently walking up the road to the trail that leads up to the tunnel here. And we're just to film two videos actually. There. This is the trail. The road's just right there. And the tunnel should be up here somewhere in this hillside. Alright. So it looks like Right down there is the tunnel. It's kind of scary looking, actually. Yeah. It gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. And I'm guess, well, obviously, right here would go out to where the bridge would have spanned at one time. Interestingly enough, we uh, we had no idea what this place was. We had an address. We got here, and we looked around and said, "Where is this thing?" And then Corey's the one that had the idea of, well. You know the bridge is right there and then we saw the graffiti mountain here so if we find a way up the embankment we'll probably find the tunnel so the whole tunnel right there and it's kind of looks a little scary the front entrance of the tunnel is actually very collapsed there's a lot of debris probably about halfway up from the floor to the ceiling full of debris so definitely very careful we're wearing boots and long pants um, but you can see straight through to the other side there's just an overlook where the bridge once was. And of course the road down there is the rental car. And as you already saw, over there is the tunnel entrance. So we're coming up to the entrance of the tunnel here. Looks like quite a bit of it's collapsed. Uh, almost the whole tunnel face is gone. There it is. Also got these rocks. There's one waterfall here on this side, actually. Probably gonna be a bit of an effort to get in there, get over all the rubble. I'm still really just amazed by this whole, this whole thing here, you know? There you can just see how much has collapsed here. And like I said, I'm thinking these larger chunks of cement right here are probably the tunnel face because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of that left here. Wow, this is quite a mess. Once you get down here, it's actually not that bad. I really don't think we need the flashlights other than for right there. Just be careful. All right, so we are in the tunnel right now. We went over the debris back there at the end. And we're just walking through here. You can actually see there's quite a 
bit of the tunnel in here has basically collapsed in places. Still walking here, and I'm gonna guess you can't really see a whole lot right now as you get further in the tunnel. So we're getting further into the tunnel right now and not a whole lot is actually showing up on video. Zach's in front of me, you can't even see him. This is the LED flashlight I'm holding. And yeah, it's not really doing a lot to improve the video quality. So I might just wait till we get closer to the end to start recording again. All right, we're coming up to the other end of the tunnel here. And it's starting to get brighter, but it's also starting to get wetter at the same time. All right, so here's the other end of the tunnel we just came out. You can see this side's still very much intact compared to the other end. Of course, you can see just how small the opening is down there, small the debris. And over this way is the trussle leads out across the Clarion River. So we got to this part of the bridge here, and unless you're going to walk the high steel, there's really no way to get to the other side. So we are heading back across the bridge and toward the tunnel. Got to say, for the wind out there, uh, wasn't always pleasant standing there. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.